Good morning. My name is Gary Epker, and I'm a business coach for HVAC Learning Solutions. I also write articles for the Lennox News. I recently uh, did an article from a dealer question asking any insights on using selling technicians. Let me first say first, I understand uh, why dealers would want to do that, particularly small dealers. Um, the technicians tend to have more credibility with customers uh, and it ends up being a, a warm sell. But in contrast to that though, on the flip side, the cons, the technicians tend to sell lower end product. They tend to sell individual units rather than system installs. And this results in an overall less average ticket uh, than what a comfort advisor can do. And I can understand the reason why. Uh, the technician has a small window of time to make a suggestion, whereas a comfort advisor can spend about an hour or an hour and a half talking about uh, the different options the customer has available. But for those dealers that do want to leverage their sales force by having a technician sell, here are a few suggestions for you. Number one, I would limit what the technicians could sell. In other words, I would not sell, have, let them have access to a builder grade type of equipment. This is a replacement situation after all, and it really is in the customer's best interest to consider having um, mid or upper end equipment. Uh, number two, rather than having the technicians have a cookbook pricing where they put the pricing out there. I would think that you would really want to control that situation. I recommend doing this by having the technician call the office to get a quote. It helps uh, the customer in the selling situation a bit because they genuinely, genuinely see the technician as a technician. But furthermore, from a tracking standpoint, it allows you to track that sales lead. Um, there's advantages of being able to do that. Number one, uh, if you're tracking the revenue, if you track, track the closure rate, if you track the average ticket, you can uh, provide individual coaching to technicians that need it. The more important issue is that you, as a business owner, know what quotes are out there. And if there's any open quotes, you have the ability to, to be able to follow through with those. Uh, another thing too, you want a commission structure in place to be able to reward that tech uh, for selling, that, uh, selling the equipment and providing the behavior that you want. That being the case, uh, you want to be sure you have a tracking system that genuinely pays the tech for the work that he does. There's nothing demo more demotivating than to not get paid for uh, the services that you're due. Um, the last thing I would say through there, I would utilize uh, third-party training to help improve the individual technician skills. Uh, I would suggest the uh, service sales excellence uh, that's offered by HVAC Learning Solutions. As with any training, it's only a good, as good as the reinforcement of that training in the, in the real world. So again, be prepared to reinforce the training to get the results that you want. I'll conclude this by saying, uh, this is a pretty deep subject actually. We have a webinar series uh, on service management. Part nine in that series deals with technician selling. So if you want any more information on this subject, I'd advise you to, to take a look at this. And thank you so much for your time.